Okay, let's talk about the macro or programming sequence buttons. Now this might seem like the most difficult feature on most controllers that have it, but it's really not that hard. So you start here and find your program button on the Easy SMX X15. The button is right here. Press it once. You have two programmable buttons, your M1 and your M2. Choose a button. We'll choose M1. Now, once you selected it, you know you're in the right mode because the controller will vibrate and also your light indicator will choose either two or three. So, now you click whatever buttons you do. For example, if you want to do Ken's Hadoken and Street Fighter, you press down, slant, forward, and X. Now, once you programmed your sequence, you press the same button again. And now, this button is set. What I mean by that, every time you press this button, Ken will do his Hadoken. Let me show you this in game. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can program the macro without getting beat up too bad. So first step, let me flip the controller over. You're going to press the program button right here. Then you choose an M1 or M2 button. So I'm gonna choose M1 here. And then now, what I'm gonna do is try to... Okay, so that's my button. Then I press M1 again. Now it should be set. And what I'm going to do is press M1, and it does my Hadouken by itself. Alright, so let's go over it again. In order to program your macro, you're going to press this button right here. You're going to choose a macro button. Then you're going to do your button sequence, whatever it may be. And then you're going to press that same macro button again. And now you're locked in on your programmable buttons on M1 or M.2. All right, so that is just as easy as it is to program your macro button. 